Hello everyone. Today we are going to study the second chapter from the science of standard 6, the living world. I have divided the chapter into two parts, part 1 and part 2. So come on, let's start with part 1. What is living things? In our surroundings, usually trees, birds, human beings, soil, water, rocks, cats, cows, dogs, etc are seen some of these things have life and some don't the things which have life are called living things or living organisms now let us learn about the characteristics of living things what is characteristics of living things there are many kinds of plants and animals around us they show some similarities and some differences with the help of certain features we can tell that they are living things but these features are not seen in the non living things such features are said to be a characteristics of living things the following are the characteristics of living things growth necessity of the food respiration excretion reproduction responsiveness of stimuli movement definite life span cellular structure now let us study these characteristics in detail The first characteristic is growth. Look at this picture. You can see the growth of human being, animal and plant. Now let's see one by one. All living things grow into adult in a certain fixed period. If we talk about the growth of human being, human babies requires 18 to 21 years for complete physical growth. During this period, they gain height, weight and strength. In the same manner, all animals grow into adults in a certain period. Now let's see the growth of plants. When plants grow, there is a increase in the width and the height of the stem. Some plants develop branches while others lack these. Plants keep on growing till they are alive. The growth of living things is from within the body and in all parts of the body. Next, food. Necessary for growth. We all know that food is a basic necessity for all the living things. So where we get this food from? We get food from plants. Plants are called as producers. They are also called as autotrophs. That is, they prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? The process by which green plants make their own food from nutrients in the soil, carbon dioxide present in the air, and water in the presence of sunlight, and with the help of chlorophyll in the leaves, is called as photosynthesis. During this process, oxygen gas is released. plants appears mainly green in color due to the chlorophyll in them heterotrophs a heterotroph is an organism that cannot prepare their own food they depend on others for food they are also called as consumers there are three types of heterotrophs herbivorous carnivorous omnivorous herbivorous are the animals that eat only plants example giraffe goat etc carnivorous is an animal that gets food from killing and eating other animals example tiger lion etc omnivorous is an animal that eat both plants and animals example humans respiration all living things need oxygen for their survival inhaling the oxygen and exhaling the carbon dioxide is called respiration human respires through nose in animals there are specialized respiratory organs animals such as fish snakes mouse etc have a specific organs for respiration for example fish respires through gills the plants respires through the microscopic pores on their stems and leaves next excretion the process of elimination of waste products from body is called excretion the waste substance formed during the different process that takes place in the bodies of animals is called excreta specialized organs present in the animals for excretion are called excretory organs in plants the waste substances are stored in the leaves and then shed along with the leaves or sometimes through the bark of the tree plants also secrete excess of water in the forms of water vapors responsiveness to stimuli and movement stimuli means responding or showing reaction living things act in a various way when responding to the stimuli If suppose you suddenly enters a cow shed the cow and the buffalo stands up or starts moving here and there these are all movements 
Even if you see the potted plant placed in a window, it grows towards the sunlight. That means plants also shows movement. So, all living things respond to the activity that occurs in their near surroundings. This ability to respond to the stimulus is called responsiveness. Living things moves of their own accord. Animal places at the time of movement, but plants cannot. However, they also show movement in the form of responsiveness to various stimuli. Reproduction. The process by which the living things give birth to young one of its own kind is called as reproduction or procreation. Some animals give birth to their young ones. Some lay the eggs from which the young one hatch out. Plants reproduce through seeds, leaves, parts of stem, etc. So here we end with part 1. The remaining characteristics we will study in part 2. Thank you.